Hey, what's up YouTube, Houston here. Look, there are at least seven different banks that will give you a loan with no credit check, okay? And so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break these here uh, banks down. Some of you all heard of me talk about them in other videos. But here's the thing about it. Some of the loans that they're offering you may be low dollar loans. So what I'm also going to add in this video is some of these loans that are probably more high dollar in, but they're not from the banks, okay? So that being said, let's talk about the uh, banks that will give you a loan with no credit check, all right? And the first one is Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo has a new program, okay? And so what it is, is basically they're trying to avoid you taking out a payday loan and, and uh, saving you on interest, all right? And so that loan, and I made a previous video going into detail, but that loan goes up to $500 with no credit check. Now, in order for you to get this loan, you have to have a relationship with Wells Fargo, an existing relationship, at least 90 days, all right? Now, the next bank is U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank, they offer no credit check loans up to $1,000, okay? And you definitely have to be with them for 90 plus days, all right? Then you have Bank of America. Now, with Bank of America, they have the... Um, small dollar loans they call them small dollar loans uh they go up to 500 dollars, but you have to have been a member with them for at least a year and you cannot have had uh any insufficient funds in order to get their loans with no ch uh credit check okay now the other bank is huntington bank and somebody asked me about this uh with huntington bank you have to be a member with them for at least 90 days but they'll give you a loan up to a thousand dollars as well all right then your next uh institution is a credit union security plus federal credit union they will give you a loan up to a thousand dollars but you have to become a member and you have to be uh with them for at least 90 days now with some of these uh credit unions they do charge maybe like a 10 to 20 dollar application fee as well okay so you can just keep that in mind now one of the things i want to digress on so that you are aware that you can understand like with um the banks then again they're not pulling your personal credit okay so don't worry about the personal credit but if you're looking to try to get uh, regular loans from now or credit cards like with Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo is a FICO 9. They pull your Experian FICO 9 and with US Bank they are a FICO 9 so they may pull your TransUnion. Sometimes they may pull your Experian but most of the time they pull your TransUnion FICO 9. Now with Bank of America uh, I always tell you that Bank of America is an Experian. It's a FICO 8 and Huntington Bank uh, it's a FICO 8 financial institution as well. So that way you are aware. Now with your credit unions, like I said, with Security Plus credit unions, uh, they loan you up to $1,000 with no credit check. But again, they may charge you a fee for application between $10 to $20. All right. And you have to be a member with them for at least 90 days. Now, here's something that changed that I had noticed two types of dc credit union one is dc credit union and one is dcu credit union dcu credit union is nationwide dc credit union is for the district of columbia but that does not mean that you could not join if you're not in the district of if you're not in the di district of columbia and now here's the reason why i want to tell you about DC Credit Union is because they actually have not only a uh, short-term loan up to uh, $500, but they have a relief loan with no credit check up to $3,000. A relief loan 
up to $3,000. That's with DC Credit Union. That's better than DCU because DCU, no credit, credit, DC, uh, DCU Credit Union, their loans with no credit check go up to $2,000, but you have to be a member with them for at least 90 days. Okay, so with DC Credit Union, if you're able to get into DC Credit Union, they do have another loan, a relief loan, and that loan goes up to $3,000. Now, if somebody is a member of DC Credit Union watching the video, put a comment below. Have you ever applied for that loan? Again, it's no credit check, and I don't think most people are aware of that credit union. Uh, and again, like I said, it's not DCU, it's DC Credit Union that you have to actually look out for. Now, if you're trying to get like maybe 5,000 or more, then some of the lenders you may want to look at is like um, Avant. Avant, uh, because they have a high DTI. Like with the banks, if you was going out for a regular credit, uh, regular loan, their uh, loans um, with the major banks, their DTI, debt to income ratio is up to uh, 50, maximum 55%, all right? But with Avant, they have a DTI of 70%, okay? Now, with their loans, their loans go from 2000 up to $35,000, okay? And like I said, it's set up to 75%. Um, excuse me, 70% debt to income ratio. Now your average monthly income has to be at least $1,200 a month to qualify for a bond, all right? Now I know some of you all uh, may be asking, well, um, can you be on fixed income with uh, some of these lenders? Yes, yes, so if you're on disability, uh, if you are on welfare, Again, if you they're looking at the deposits with the major banks is what they're looking at. All right, so it's not about the credit; it's about the deposits. And do you have maintain a, a um, over the past certain amount of days or whatever? But 90 days for most of these lenders uh, is is the max you have to act at least be a member with them. All right. That being said, let's talk about some of these other lenders. If you have bad credit, okay, but you're still needing a uh, higher dollar amounts, you also have uh, Uprova. Uh, Uprova, again, it's, it's, they're not even about the DTI, the debt to income ratio. They're not about the uh, credit score. What they're looking for is your ability to be able to pay the loan back, okay? And so their loans go up to $5,000 as well. All right, then you have Indy Land. Indy Land, their loans go up to $5,000. So you have all of these different lenders that are willing to loan you money. Some of them are small dollars, and some of them are at least $5,000 or more. Okay, so that's the reason that I'm making this video because I know it's a right now it's hard for a lot of people. Maybe losing your jobs, your hours may be cut, uh, you know, utilities uh, expenses going up, gas prices going up, food costs. So you need some other type of outlet to try to find some uh, opportunity to get some money to help cover some of these expenses. So this is the reason this video is made. If you have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.